Adrian, wake up. Oh, 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 we got a video. Hey, what's up guys? It's Adrian. Sorry, I was just uh, kicking back. You know, it was one of those work from home days. Fancy home, right? Well, today I'm actually at the office, but I started my career working from home and you're probably watching this video because you wanna work from home or maybe you don't even wanna work from home. Maybe you wanna work the laptop lifestyle. Well, this is the video for that. I wanted to make a comprehensive video to show you how to actually start working from home as a graphic designer or working from wherever the heck you wanna work and building a career. Now, you may not wanna do that long-term. This may just be a short-term goal. Maybe you're working a nine to five somewhere and you're pulling your hair out and you're just frustrated and you're like, man, I just wanna be at home and I wanna work from home. A lot of people had to do that during the pandemic and it's time to implement this on a whole new level for the creative industry. I think that a lot of people deserve their creative freedom. They deserve freedom in general to live and work and be wherever they want to be, whether that's amongst people in a coffee shop or at home behind their computer or sitting on their couch. It doesn't matter where you are. So today I'm going to make this video and we're going to go into detail of how you can become a graphic designer from your home. All right. So you got creative gifts and you want to use them before they use you. Wait, what? I'm just kidding. Uh, so what I want to talk to you guys today about, like I said, is becoming a graphic designer from home. And the first piece that you need to understand if you're going to do that is how to use the programs. Now you're probably watching this because you're brand new to graphic design and you haven't really used very many graphic design programs, or maybe you're using Canva and you're ready to step up to the next level. Well, if you're ready to do that, then I got some good tips for you, some good advice of where you can start to actually start learning these programs from home very easily. It's just going to take you a little bit of time. So the first step is pick your program and learn it. For myself, I started in high school using Adobe Premiere, which is a video editing software. I got really familiar with that program. I really love that software and it's evolved significantly over time. Then once I really learned that and was really comfortable with it, I jumped over to Photoshop thanks to my little brother. He said, hey, have you heard about Photoshop? I said, nope. And that was the first graphic design program that I used that really started my career and built me to where I am today. Then after I mastered that and got really comfortable with that, I started doing sign work. And sign work is very vector based. There's a lot of vinyl stickers and vinyl graphics. And so you have to have these cut lines and cut lines can't be done with pixels. You need, you need vector. So I had to learn Adobe Illustrator and even Corel Draw back in the day, but I went from Premiere to Photoshop to Illustrator. Now you wanna make sure you master one before you move on to the next one. Now I wanna give you three YouTube channels specifically, cause this is an opportunity for you to learn for free besides my channel. So we'll list my channel as one of them. Obviously you're here, you know about this channel. I teach a lot of stuff about Photoshop and Illustrator. Haven't done as much on Premiere, which I probably will because I know the program so well, uh, but I don't do a lot of the video editing these days. That's something that Ian does. So he works in After Effects and Adobe Premiere, but you want to pick your program. If you're going to use Canva, you're going to be limited in a lot of ways. And I just don't think that that's really the professional design software. I really want to encourage you to use a professional design software that has a lot of flexibility and a lot of amazing tools, which is going to be Adobe. Now, the first channel I want to give you, and this is one of the first channels I started watching back in the day. This guy is amazing and you can learn everything. I'm talking everything you need to know to get started. And that is Terry White. I've made videos about him in the past. Check out his YouTube. He is an Adobe evangelist. Terry White makes how to get started with Photoshop, how to get started with Illustrator, how to get started with Premiere, how to get started with Dreamweaver. I mean, literally every program, this guy is a master at all the programs and his tutorials are very in depth. He's got hundreds of them, probably thousands I'm sure at this point. And his content is phenomenal. He's easy to follow and it's pretty long winded. I mean, some of these trainings that he does are like 50 minutes to an hour. And so you can really learn a lot from him. You want to take notes. You want to take it seriously just because it's free. Just, I mean, that's one of the problems with free is when you don't pay, you don't pay attention, but this content is worth thousands of dollars to you. So this is a really good place to start. <clears throat> the second one, and this one's specifically around Photoshop is a guy and he's pretty funny is Pix Imperfect, P-I-X-I-M-P-E-R-F-E-C-T, Pix Imperfect. He does a lot of Photoshop tutorials. His stuff is really neat. I've actually learned some really good tricks from him. I picked up some, some really good things from his channel myself. I follow my competitors. He's kind of a competitor of mine, but I don't really look at competition the same way most people do. I'm learning from him. I'm sure he's probably seen some of my videos and learned some things from me and been inspired. So that's really my goal is to continue to evolve myself and continue to be a student. All right, so the third channel, let's jump to it. Let's get right into it. Satori Graphics. I cannot make a YouTube video about 
how to become a graphic designer without including his stuff from Illustrator tutorials to tools and software. He's probably my biggest competitor, but we are very different. We have different backgrounds, we have different styles, we have different interests, we have different tastes, we have different stories, right? You're following me because of the relationship that I'm building and you're following him because of the relationship that he's building. They're very different. We offer different things. We want to basically come from our own unique angles. I am more of a digital marketing agency owner and a creative. He's more of a creative and graphic designer. So you can learn a lot from him. He's got really good tutorials and he publishes videos, I think like three times a week. So check out Satori Graphics. We'll put the link in the description for all three of these channels below. All right, so I'm wondering, now that I've shared those three channels with you, are you guys already following them? And if so, let me know who is your favorite. If you haven't, drop a comment down below. And if you've watched my tutorials and you love them, let me know what you think. I'm just trying to get you guys to engage. I wanna hear from you guys. I wanna know you guys. I wanna get involved in your lives. I wanna support you. And that's why I do these videos. So the next step for this is really, really important. Are you listening? Are you sure? Okay. I want you to find three graphic designers that really, I mean, really inspire you. If you don't have three people that are graphic designers or web designers or motion designers right now that you are not following religiously everything that they post, that is a mistake. You need to find three people that inspire you. When I first started, there was a gentleman by the name of Andy, and this guy was a local graphic designer doing club flyers, and I can't tell you how much I learned from this guy. It was unbelievable the amount of skills and techniques and tricks, and he didn't even talk to me. I didn't reach out to him, he didn't reach out to me. I just followed his work, and I saw what he was doing artistically in his stuff, and I loved his style, so I emulated his style. I didn't copy his style, I emulated his style and ended up developing my own style. And so I wanna encourage you, go to Instagram, go to Dribble, go to Behance, find three artists that you really love, and I have videos on some other artists that you could follow, Jacob Cass, Brian Ferry, there's so many that you could follow that you can check out if you don't know where to start. But if, go find some artists, Instagram is probably my favorite place, there's some really neat one, Burnt Toast is like one of the most inspiring artists that I've seen out there in the last few years. Find three artists that you can follow and you can implement their work or their styles into your style and develop your own unique angle. As I always ask, I take a lot of time and a lot of money to invest into making these videos for you guys. If you could just please just throw a like on the video, hit the subscribe button so I know that you're following. Our subscriber count is getting up there really, really quick, but the amount of people that watch our videos to subscribe is kind of low. So if you could please just do me a huge favor and give me a thank you for this video and hit that subscribe button, it would mean a lot and it's gonna to continue to provide more valuable content to you like this. All right, the third piece to this, and this is probably, I wouldn't say the most important, but one of these, these, all three of these are really important, but without this, you're never going to reach the level that I've reached, and it's consistency. You have to stay consistent. The truth is, is we make time for the things that are important to us. If you put the time in, you set the side of time and say, oh, I didn't have time. No, it's not that you didn't have time, you didn't make time. And if you wanna learn design, there are three things that you need to start doing every single week to hone your craft and hone your skills. The first one, the first skill you need to have is learning the design principles. They're always changing, they're always evolving, things are always growing, design isn't staying the same. It isn't the same as it was a year ago and it's not gonna be the same in a year from now. So you need to constantly be learning these design principles, whether it's anti-design or minimalist design, there's so much for you to learn. And if you wanna be a great designer, you need to continue to sharpen your ax. The second piece about consistency is practicing daily. You need to take some time for your clients, obviously to do their designs, but you need to take some time for yourself and just to practice, to have fun, to not have something that you have a deadline on or something that you're being paid for. Just do something that you wanna create. I wanna make sure that you're practicing and doing something fun every single day. If you're not doing this, you're really hurting yourself and you need to make sure that you keep your cup filled up and this is a really good way to do that. My last point, and I cannot stress this enough, and this is not like the second point, but it's very similar, is you need to surround yourself with other designers on a daily basis. See their work, see what they're sharing. But I'm not talking about designers that inspire you, I'm talking about community. 
I'm talking about friendships. I'm talking about relationships. I'm talking about collaborations. This is exactly why I believe in the iron sharpens iron model and why I created the Instagraphics Pro Network. You're gonna have designers that are way more skilled than you and you're gonna have designers that are not as skilled as you. If you wanna become a graphic designer from home, being consistent, surrounding yourself and having people that are inspiring you and learning these programs is the way that you're gonna do it. But you wanna make sure that you have accountability and by putting really great people in your life who are also hungry, passionate, and coachable, it's going to inspire, motivate, and move you to do the things that you need to do to move your career in the direction that you wanna go. And community is the way that you do that. That is one of the most important tools that I have in my life that has changed my life and changed all the lives of the people around me. So that's what I got for you. If you wanna join my community, it's called the Instagraphics Pro Network. It's on Facebook. We're almost 600 strong and I've been, I've rejected more than 50% of the requests that come in because they don't fill out all the information. If you don't fill out all the information and let me know who you are and why you wanna be in the community, I won't let you in. So make sure you do that. Make sure you follow all the steps. Don't take shortcuts, do it the right way. And I'll see you guys in there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was super helpful and I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm Adrian Boisel and as always, keep looking up.